Okay guys, so right here you can see I'm cleaning the um, the shield. I uh, just need to be careful because it's really like sharp. And so you as you can see here um this um baseball is crooked. So um, what you do first is um like the paint um don't don't go on the edge like right away so on the edge is gonna pull like a little bit and then after you cut on the bottom you, you can just uh freestyle on the top like just like like this what i'm doing right now So basically, yeah, that's the three things that you need to do. Um, just be careful with the knife um, when you're cleaning it. Look, look at this because uh, you can cut yourself while doing this. Um, and the basics with this is just put the shield, spray your paint first on top, like on the center, and then when you don't have a lot of paint, just go on the uh, on the edge, like under. So the paint doesn't drip like under the baseboard and the shield um, and then just grab some paint and paint on top like freestyle like to finish on the top so you don't have to worry about the edge on the of the finish floor under but uh, even if you uh, paint it on the floor you can just clean it with the same shield like put the rug over it and just clean And as you can see, I'm using a um, rack, like uh, not a painter's rack, but you like like a regular cleaning rack. Uh, right here, as you can see, uh, I put the, the 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 shield on the edge to do the edge, and I don't clean it. I just keep going like that. Um, put it on the edge, like under. Spray your paint on the center, and then just go on the the bottom so you can do this uh if you don't have a lot of paint you can do if you sure you don't have a lot of paint just paint the the, the base um and just you can see sometimes it drips on there you can just do your current first like you see i got the first edge from the left the bottom and then the right now it's only paint on top and clean your rack put it aside um and just um, a few times you can just clean the the edge under like one or two passes like when you're happy and then that's it and you can just finish painting the top So I know that a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, I can do that, like, 
just with my hands like no shield no nothing i can do it too but uh, for me uh, i have to like anyway if i don't use the shield um i can just do it freestyle like under like on top like you know not, not using any kind of tape but it takes longer even if you use tape on the bottom or um um just putting tape on there i don't know like i'm not saying i'm a professional but like professionals are not gonna do that unless it's like a really expensive floor or something that you don't really don't, don't wanna mess up And as you can see here, um, there's a lot of different kind of baseboards on one single apartment. So this is like a commercial job. Like, you know, it just has to be painted 100%. I do, I do try to paint them like, uh, not uh, like 100% good, but you know, like good. So uh, right here on the corner, as you can see, um, a lot of the times the baseball is crooked like it's not straight it's not level and then like right here on the corner you want to try and see in a little bit uh there's a missing piece of wood and i'm gonna try to lie to the eye so you can see that um when you're walking by you don't see that it's missing a piece So as you can see, this is the part I'm telling you in the corner. There's a missing piece of wood and if I leave it just like that, you would be able to see a corner, not um, straight to the corner. So I try to fill it with paint and then um, I'm not able to do 100%. So I try to use the shield on the corner. Like sometimes you gotta improvise like so I try to fill it with paint but I don't have enough paint I have to get a little more paint and then just go paint it and then remove the shield that's it clean the floor if you got some paint on the floor So as you can see here, um, the paint went under the baseboard, but this baseboard is not straight. It's like bented, and you can just put the rug on over the the paint sheet and just like clean the edge. That's it. Just keep going like that. Center bottom, and then like the edge from the bottom, and then just finish on top uh, with your own hand. Because the walls are now always straight and you know the caulking is now always good.
and don't forget to always go and um, wash sometimes your rug because you don't want to um, have paint in your rug you want to clean so when you clean your paint shield just cleans it very well and when you uh, clean the edge of the floor you don't uh, paint by mistake just keep your rug clean So you can see right here I have the 24 inches um, uh, paint shell and I have the 12 inches because the big one doesn't always fit everywhere so like this one little one you can use it like right now it's always the same principle like center bottom clean your thing put it aside and then just finish the top by hand and i'm um, just telling you this um i use this paint shield um things uh like like let's say on this floor this floor is finished um i can do it by hand but i know i'm gonna take maybe longer because i'm gonna be cutting and then i'm not gonna get all the way to the edge and if i get to the edge and if the paint goes over anyway i gotta clean so that's why i use this, this paint shields because um um since the floor is finished you don't want to paint like a lot and just keep going you know also um as you can see this thing is not perfect 100 percent because sometimes the paint just goes under like when like i'm telling you if you don't put it right a lot of paint is gonna go under you can just clean it but um if you put it right or the baseboard is like crooked or bented then you have to clean it also um 